Hey guys, it's me, Mary Vaughn, and I am back with another video. Today is Monday, November 14th, and it's currently 1.35 p.m., and I have Sweet Baby Symphony here, who is no longer Symphony. So I'm just going to call her Serenity, because this is the Serenity sculpt by Laura the Eagles. And for today's video, I have another change and chat so i'm going to be changing her out of this boy outfit and into a sleeper that she's going to be going home in and that's right you guys heard it correctly she had sewed and so i went ahead and started getting some of her stuff ready so that i don't have to like pack it later it's going to be going home very very soon hopefully in the next week or so and i am so happy that she sewed her brother Judas had also sold over the weekend, so I am very, very happy and excited for that. So I'm just going to change her into the sleeper that she's going to be going home with. And I didn't have any girl sleepers, so I had to take this one from Judas's box opening or Nixon's box opening. And then I just added in two extras since I had took the sleeper out. So we are going to just go ahead and change her back into a precious baby girl and then i am going to put her back on display because she's been on display since the last time i did a video with her and then after that i'm going to pack her up and you guys will see her box packing video um once that happens so i'm just gonna go ahead and change her and then so the topic that i have today is how do you know which baby to let go? Like, which baby is next? I do know a lot of you guys have your forever babies in your collection, or all of the babies in your collection are forever babies, so you don't ever see yourself letting any of them go. So this might not be a question for you all to answer in the comments, but those of you who do sell your babies or decide to sell your babies, I want to know how you guys know which baby is the next one to go so i do sell some babies in my collection and i sell the ones that i am not bonded to or the ones that i just don't pick up anymore or feel that connection with and so you guys know that was for me that was symphony or serenity and that was judas who was nixon so that's how i knew that it was time for me to let them go and list them up for sale. And I actually felt not bonded to them for a little while, way before I actually put them up for sale. Um, the reason why I feel like I couldn't bond with them is because I had got way too many babies. Well, I already had them, but I had opened them all up literally back to back. So I feel like I didn't have enough time to spend with them since I opened them up first. So I opened both of them up on the same day. And then the very next day, I opened up another baby. And then either the day after that or a couple of days later, I opened up another baby. So I feel like I just didn't give myself enough time to bond with them as much as I wanted to or would have liked to. Because like the first day, I was just in love with them. The first week, I was like, okay, yes, I still like them. And then like the second week, I was like okay, the babies are cute, but I don't pick them up anymore and I'm only picking up the other babies that I got. So that's when I knew it was time to let them go, but I did want to hold on to them for a little while longer because I know the kits are long sold out and for Nixon, I know his kits are rare. I Serenity, I can come across her a few times, um, hopefully, <laughs> but for Nixon, I know it's like he's just long go gone. So I really did want to try to just keep them for as long as I could, but I just never feel right by that either because I always feel like somebody else could be enjoying them. And so that's why I decided to let them go. So that's how I know, just when I'm not picking them up or I don't do a lot of videos with them or I have to force myself to pick them up and do videos with them. That's when I know that I don't think this baby is uh, right for my collection, but I did love the time that I had with both of the babies or any of the babies that I sold, really. I know that I love the time that I had with them and I did like them and I did love them, which is why I got them in the first place. 
and there are a couple of babies out there that I do or did regret selling but then after I sold them you know you just move on <laughs> so, uh, there's only been one that I was like oh my gosh no I never should have sold that baby and then there has been about t two that I was like oh I wish I wouldn't have sold that baby but then I have moved on after that but one of them it really did stick with me like oh my gosh I can't believe I sold that baby so that's why I had waited to list her up for sale as well as Judas because I just wanted to make sure that I actually weren't bonding with them and that I did want to let them go and I did so so that's how I know you guys will have to let me know in the comments how you know which babies are the ones to go this is a zero to three month and he is smaller than her so this definitely wouldn't have fit him so this is like perfect for her she looks cute as a boy too as you guys saw i was having that boy outfit and this does come with a hat you guys know i put this on september in her night routine and this was big on September 2, and she's 0 to 3, and this is 0 to 3. So maybe this brand, or maybe just sleeper in general, just runs pretty big. I wish I had girl sleepers or more girl clothes, but I don't. I did get September some clothes, but she's 0 to 3 in 3 month size, and she's newborn. So I wish I had some newborn clothes here. Some newborn girl clothes, I should say. Yeah, just go ahead and do her hair. And before I let you guys go, I do have a dilemma right now with this topic. So like I told you guys, I don't like to hold on to babies just to hold on to them. If I don't feel a bond or a connection with them or I've tried everything and I just can't see myself to like just pick them up anymore and things like that. Then, I, like I said, I would, I will sell them or list them up for sale and just let them go so they can find the perfect home and someone who can show them a little bit more attention than what I could and can. But I do have a dilemma for you guys. I have a baby in my collection right now who I've been thinking about selling for the past month, maybe. And I just can't see myself letting this baby go anytime soon. I don't want to list this baby up for sale. And it might take a little while for this baby to go for sale, but I don't like listing a baby up for sale and then taking the baby off of the market. And I never made like a feelers post or anything like that. So I don't know what I should do. Like I like this baby or I love this baby, but I just don't feel a bond or a connection to this baby. And I, I don't know why. I'm not quite sure why. But I've been feeling like this for a little bit. But I've been sticking it out and just keeping the baby. The baby's really cute and I like the baby. But I just don't feel a bond with the baby anymore. And, and as soon as I got him, I was just in love with him. But I just don't know why now i feel like this or i've been feeling like this for a little bit so i don't know what to do i think i'm just going to go ahead and just keep him but i'm not sure guys what do you guys think i should do i don't want to sell i don't want to list him up for sale and then he actually sells and then i regret it because been there done that <laughs> and it's not a good feeling you know these are i know everyone just say like, these are just dolls and they are but I don't know. I didn't have this baby for long either. And I like to keep my babies for a while. But then, like I said, if I'm just not bonded with them. Or I don't pick them up. Then there's, you know, there's, to me, I feel like there's no point of keeping them. Because I only felt that way about her, Judas, and then this baby I'm talking about now. But I just can't see myself listing this baby up for sale. So I'm in a little bit of a dilemma. I wish that I could temporarily do a trade or something. But I don't know. I've never done a trade before. A temporary trade either.
but I think that might be something I should look into or might be interested in. But you just never know these days or nowadays. And I don't want to send him off and something happens to him or anything like that. So I probably won't be doing that. That's just my thoughts. So anyways, this is Serenity by Laura the Eagles. Such a cutie. I thought this outfit was more girlish, but it's looking to me like a little bit more on the boyish side. But that's okay because it's really cute. And like I said, Judas or Nixon wasn't going to be able to fit it anyways because it's 0-3 to three and he's really newborn. So that's me changing serenity and look at i just love this blanket that she came with it's so thick and soft and she's gonna be going home back going to be going home with this blanket as well as the stuff she came to me with as well as a few extras that i had in her size so yeah i can't wait until she go ahead and get shipped off so that someone else could love her and she doesn't have a magnet for a passy so, and i actually have magnets so i'll probably send a magnet or two along with so that her new mommy can magnetize the passy for her so I, that's actually what i'm going to do i hope i remember i probably will though also before i do let you guys go i do have three babies left for adoption or for sale they are available i have three left my original three that i had it's like i had six and then now i have three so that feels really really good even though i still have you know two here and then one back at home patiently waiting but soon they will be officially gone so that just feels like a ton of weight lifted off my shoulders i have extra room i have extra space now here so maybe a box opening will be coming soon who knows but i'm just happy that they're gone but i do want the three of my original babies to sell before the holidays because they've been here for over a year all of them except for Sweet Pea, Sweet Pea got created in February. Scarlet got created in March of 2021. And Claudia got created in September of 2021. So as you guys can see, it's been over a year for both of those babies. And I just want them to find a good home. I do payment plans. So don't hesitate to ask me. You do have to put down a non-refundable deposit in order to do a payment plan with me. I don't do holds without the non-refundable deposit. Just because I've gotten my time wasted before. It wasn't the best thing for me to do, so I do not require that. I just started requiring that actually either this year or last year because before I didn't require that. And, you know, so I do require a non-refundable deposit placed on a baby. And then you can do a payment plan on the baby. The baby is all yours. So if that's something you'd be interested in, let me know. The three babies are Boo Boo Babies, Budget Babies. I have tons of videos on them. They are packed up. In boxes, I packed them up back in May when I packed Winklin up as well. Again, I'm just very, very happy that three of my babies found a home, especially this little one and Judas or Nixon. So I'm just very happy about that. I'm hoping and crossing my fingers that two more babies um, leave so that they can be home in enough time for the holidays and right now is the perfect time to order or buy things because it's like right before the holiday rush guys so you definitely want to get these babies i want to say buy like maybe the first week of december because then it starts to get a little bit crazy and sometimes things can happen with the packages my cousin thinks that nothing does and if you guys are interested in any of the three games i have for sale just let me know i am accepting reasonable offers i'm accepting payment plans slash leeway so yeah but anyways that is it for this video i made it longer than what it needed to be because i talk and ramble so much and that is sweet baby girl going home to her new mom very very soon you guys will be seeing the box packing thank you to the sweet person who got this sweet baby as well as thank you to the nice person who had also got judas thank you both all right if you guys want to go ahead and follow me on instagram go ahead and do so at my underscore reborns it is linked in the description below. If you guys like this video, give it a big thumbs up. Comment down below anything you guys want in the comments, including video requests. And if you aren't subscribed to my channel, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Also, ring that bell so you guys can always be notified when I post another video. Alright, I will talk to you guys later. Bye!